I wrote this last night. Chris and I talked about it yesterday a little bit. If slash when Robert Kraft would move on from Bill Belichick, what does Belichick do? Does he land immediately somewhere else? Does he want to go somewhere else? I don't get the impression there would be the land rush for him now that there would have been five, seven, ten years ago. And if you have an entrenched general manager, that person is not going to want to hire Bill Belichick, no more than Rich McKay wanted to hire Bill Parcells before Parcells jilted the Buccaneers back in 2001, I believe it was, 2002, the year they ended up hiring Gruden. And McKay would have been out if Bill Parcells had been in. So you you almost have to restrict the universe of options to teams that press the reset button, fire the GM and the head coach, and then we're going to give the keys to Bill Belichick. Well, Based on how he's driven the car the past few years in New England, do you want to do that if you're an owner of a team? It just doesn't have the luster that would have had a few years ago. Do you see him landing somewhere else immediately if Robert Kraft would decide to make a change? I do. Uh, Now, Mike, look, we have to see what happens in the next two years uh, or the next year. I think it's impossible to make a blanket statement that some owner – entering Bill Belichick's age 73 year would definitely absolutely hire him. I asked this question to Pete Carroll this week at the league meetings, and he was pretty dismissive of it. But I said, I said, you and Bill Belichick, you know, you're both coaching into your seventies. Is there going to be a day when, as Robert Kraft once said, I think there's no reason to think that Bill Belichick couldn't coach into his eighties. You know, look at what Warren Buffett is doing um, well past 80. And if you look at the energy of guys like Bill Belichick, Belichick going all these pro days, Pete Carroll going to day after day after day and exulting and talking about how fun it is to go to all the quarterback pro days, you know, feeling like he's back out on the recruiting trail. And so there are exceptions to the rule of age and they're growing, uh, you know, they're growing by the year. And so I would just say this, I doubt that Bill Belichick at 73, you know, that George Hallis coached his last game at 73, and he looked like he was 73 going on 87. And I don't think from looking at Bill Belichick right now that he's going to be 73 going on 87. I think he's going to be 73 going on 61. You know, I honestly think just like with Tom Brady, with a lot of these coaches now, age is just a number. And and Mike, you know, let's 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 look into the future a little bit. Just just and just say if you're an owner of a team and you have a chance to get one of the or the greatest football coach of all time to reset the standard in your organization for two or three years. And, and maybe bring on someone who can be his successor while he, uh, you know, while the, the the organization gets built back up, I, I think he would get hired immediately. I remember a time a few years ago where there was a minor dust up about Belichick being unhappy, the whole Jimmy Garoppolo, Tom Brady thing, who put their thumb on the scale, was it Brady going to craft and Somebody suggested in the aftermath of that that maybe Belichick would want to go coach the Giants, and it was explained to me, and I think this is a valid point. The problem with Belichick going anywhere else is it's going to take him four to five years to get the team to the point where he wants it to be by way of going to a new team and getting ownership to give him everything he wants and getting everything in place and getting the systems the way they are with the Patriots, all the stuff that goes on behind the curtain that we don't know about that helps him get his team to where he needs his team to be. That's going to be part of what he would have to embrace if he goes somewhere else. And I think for a two or a three year stint, it's not enough. He'd really want to have to put time into it and push it all the way, maybe to 80 to get to the point where he could be winning championships again or competing at least, getting on the doorstep and pounding on the door and getting to the conference championship every year. So it's something to watch, something to monitor, and the Patriots definitely going to have a harder time this year than maybe they've had at any point during the Bill Belichick tenure as coach of the team. 
Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.